It's 107.5 WBLS. Deja vu in the afternoon. Just hanging out. And, you know, we talk about all these great shows that are out that we're watching and everything. Now the buzz is all about Love is on Own. And I am so excited to have the cast in here. And we have Mara Brockakil, the creator. So first, let's go through the line. We have Michelle Weaver, a.k.a. Nori. Hi. Hi. How you doing? I'm doing good. Excellent. Girl, you? I'm, girl, I'm, I'm great. In the midst of good company right here. We have Will Catlett. Hi, Will. What up, what up, what up? He plays <laughs> Yasir. <laughs> and then the person whose life we're drawing from, from this show, Mara Brockakil. How are you? Oh, I'm fantastic. Thanks for having us. How are you? I'm great. You're a legend. Oh. Legend. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take that. Take that. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, we were talking about people who define musical generations, but you've defined almost like a TV show generation for us, like with everything from the game to girlfriends and everything in between, being married, change, just everything, it's even Sparkle. I forgot that you guys said Sparkle. Wow. All right, wow. so talk to us about Love Is and how it's been working with everybody and how it is actually playing real people that are still here directing you saying, hey, no, I, I would do it like this. <laughs> <laughs> well, Love Is is really my um, honest answer to a sincere question asked by the audience. I've been having a conversation with over, thank you for saying that, over an era of, of television, they wanted to know, hey, Mara, okay, we don't know if Joan ever got it all, but you seem to have it all and balancing a lot. And so how did you do it? And there were, people were suggesting that I write a book and, you know, ain't mm. nobody got time for that. And so that's one thing I can't do to have it all. <laughs> but I do, I, maybe it could be a TV show. So really, it was about examining what is it that people want to know and what do I want to say and honestly answer that question? And so this is the show. And talking about love, that love is achievable um, if we define it and design it for ourselves. I think that has been the secret sauce for me and Salim, not only in our own romantic life. Um, uh, you know, it's funny, re recently someone asked Salim, you know, sh she your wife yes he goes but she's so many more things as he is so many more things to me you guys that, are just too that, much oh my god i think it's important that Wait we break down those definitions like we're more than just married you know I mean that's what people put Yes, that's obvious, right, right. but we're so many more things. And so, again, it's just a constant defining, designing our life in our career, our romance, and, and our friendships, everything. And how vulnerable are you when this stuff is being shared? Do you feel some kind of way when you see these things playing out? And even as you guys have filmed the episodes? Yeah, there's been a few moments. There's been one moment that actually is coming up in episode nine that I had to walk away from the cameras. I had to walk away. It's a lot. You know, there's, it's very, it's my probably most vulnerable moment, but I'm offering that aspect of myself and Salim as a real conversation for us in as a healing, as also a community, let's have a real conversation because I know it's not just us. It's a bunch of us. So and you're so still working through and processing stuff from the show. I mean, the things that happen yes. to you guys, it brings back up stuff for you oh, all. Oh, yes, yes. So we're going deep. We go, the, the show really, I mean, people think it's a ride now. I'm tickled because I do enjoy the feedback and seeing where people are like, oh, my God, my heart, I can't take it. I love all that, <laughs> so thank you. But I'm like, oh, God, are they going to be able to take episodes <laughs> eight, nine, and ten? I don't know if oh, they're no. ready. No, so I'm just like, ready. oh, no. But um, it's also been a little bit of therap therapy, and I'm also very... Um, proud of who Mara is, who she was back in 97 and who she is now. And really remembering that I was brave then and I'm brave now to even share this. I think people are looking for it at a time when things feel troubled and also, I mean, you're fake. Everything's fake. Well, right. I think we're looking for authenticity. We're looking for real connection. We're mm -hmm. looking for these things. And so we're offering that through the story and to be able to work with Michelle and Will um, you know, I, I think people need to understand, and I know they're prepared. They've been working on their craft before we met. But what we're asked, what I've asked them to do in the leads of these characters, this is a lot I've put on them, mm -hmm. and they're not more than prepared. They are just destined um, to be to be in this moment because of the preparation. But just, I'm really proud of you guys. I'm Aww. really proud because I know I'm asking a lot. Right. I mean, the, the emotional range that you're going to see on the show from the, the whole arc of our courtship season is a lot. And mm -hmm. um, they're bringing it on so many levels, and I'm so happy to have them and for them to tell the story. Come on, guys. Tell us the story. Tell us about how it was with the audition. How did you uh, come and approach it, being that these people are actually celebs and you've seen them and seen their work? How difficult was that when you were going in knowing that this was—or did you all know it was about their, their lives? 
Yeah, it said that in the breakdown that it is based off of the kill's real life love story going right. back to the beginning. That was kind of how the breakdown was when um, I received the audition in my email, you know, just in any audition. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> and um, I kind of, uh, you know, I, I was like, oh, yeah, being married. You know, I kind of knew of them, of course. Um, and then, but I, I had never really seen her or like really it's funny because I feel like I was at events where she was speaking and somehow I always missed it and I'm mm -hmm. glad because I purposely did not research her because really? I didn't want to yeah I just didn't want to I mean at that point I was auditioning so much anyways too I was like let me not go in there and try and imitate somebody let me just read the script that I read the script and I just connected so much with who Nuri was and like where she was in her life because that's where I am right now you mm. know a uh, young person who was just striving a little you know at the time too was a little <laughs> Tell it, was oh, dating, oh, oh, you know, and just was like, okay, these men are just what? <laughs> so, um, and then also, um, was just you know trying to climb up a crazy <laughs> ladder that entertainment has, and so, um, I just related really well, and um, and so I just went with that. I just went with kind of my gut and just um wanted to just have fun and I know the casting director so well I've, let me tell you I've auditioned for Kim so many times <laughs> and haven't gotten anything but gotten close you know so I, I'm just going what up Kim let's just <laughs> let's just play and whatever and I think that was what actually made me able to really connect become Nuri is mm -hmm. because it wasn't about reaching a result it was about the truth and it was about being authentic with what I had on a page so I love it. Okay, what about you, Will? Well, for me, I just feel like it was just destined to happen. I mean, I remember meeting Salim seven years prior when he spoke at an organization called uh, Mokiti, Men of Color in the Entertainment Industry. Mm -hmm. And then I saw him two months before I auditioned for the role in Whole Foods. Mm -hmm. And then from there, I ended up booking their show, Black Lightning, right. and then going into the writer's room with Mara. So wait a minute. So mm -hmm. I, I know you were on Black Lightning, yeah. but you had already auditioned for Yasir before that? No. Uh -uh. Oh, okay. okay. Mm -mm. So I, uh, so the Black Lightning thing happened. <laughs> and then um, I meet Mara on set. And I, when we were talking, I was just looking into her eyes. And I was like, I felt like I was talking to like my older sister, mm -hmm. like a friend, but this legend, she's, she, that is all erased at that moment. And mm -hmm. she's, we just having a general conversation about, you know, this story. And then I go into the room and I find myself saying, ah, I wouldn't do it like that. I say, oh, hold up. Well, okay. <laughs> and then I get the audition. Yeah, then, <laughs> then I get the audition. Claiming it. Claiming it. Yeah, <laughs> claiming it on the low. <laughs> then I get the audition and then, you know, go in and do the audition. And I thought it was okay. But then when I said, if I get to the test, then I know I'll have it by right. then. Right. But you had already had experience working with them, so you yeah. already understood the flow. Yeah. And so you did you feel like you have a had a leg up on this? No, I don't feel like I had a leg up, but I, I was trying to, at that time, I was trying to find an answer to the hug that Salim had gave me on set of Black Lightning. Right. You know, when he said, you're going into business with my wife, but he hugged me. And I was like, this is more than, than what's at hand right now. So when I got the road, I said, oh, okay, you gave me permission to tell your story. Oh, that's yeah. so dope. dope. That is so that. dope. All right, so now you got the, got the roles. We're all excited and everything. We're on set. How is it? directing and just being in the are you directing this i know you yeah, created this it is, so. you know it's interesting you know part of the love story is between salim and i is that we've worked together for many 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 right. I, I begged him to do the uh finale episode third season of girlfriends where tony gets married and i finally convinced him to come work with me so since then we've been working together and mm -hmm. i felt such comfort knowing that he was directing my words and i like that and oh, it was safe man. and it was it was beautiful so it was interesting. So we get to Warner Brothers and we're trying to, you know, we have these two shows, Black Lightning and Love Is. And I'm like, OK, so Salim will do. We'll look at the schedule and Salim will he'll we'll set up Black Lightning first and he'll come and direct the pilot. And, and Warner Brothers is like, no, <laughs> he's going to stay with Black Lightning. And I was like, oh, hold up. Wait, wait, hold up. <laughs> and they start mentioning other directors. I was like, oh, so that that Mara who got off the boat into Hollywood. 20 something years ago was like girl if you don't raise your hand come on and now. say something stop being scared raise your hand wait a minute at this juncture you felt I like am, you were as, as veteran as i am right. as successful as i am as how many directors i have helped through the process i still respect it so much probably because i sit next to 
and lay next to <laughs> one of the best directors in the game. And mm -hmm. so that's intimidating. And um, But I had to get past that fear, especially when it, it was thought to be in someone else's hands. Mm -hmm. And I said no. And I'm so thankful for the journey of things like that because I clearly wanted to do it long ago. But how beautiful that my directing debut, and I also directed the finale, um, is my story, or you know what I'm saying, to right. tell my story. And I did it out of fear because I didn't want anybody else to mess it up. <laughs> and then... Um, and because it was time. And mm -hmm. so however you get pushed into your, how it's supposed to be, your love story, your career story, we do have to answer the call when it comes. Right. But it was, I had mm -hmm. to shoot my hand up and I was scared. But when I walked on the set, I, um, I remember, and this is why it is who you surround yourself with. I mean, not just the cast, but the crew. We have an amazing village of people who are pouring their love and talent into this show. And that's what the audience is feeling and resonating from. Yes. And that once you're surrounded by love, you can fall because you know you'll get picked back up. Mm -hmm. And so that and, and but the thing is, no one let me fall. We had each other. No, we didn't let no one let any, anybody fall. We had each other. And it's funny, I think Tyrone, who plays uh uh, Sean on the show. We did a trust exercise. Did you? No, you didn't do it. I made him fall back into my arms. <laughs> Girl, how <laughs> in the world? <laughs> we just messing around. But we. But no. But anyway, we. But it is. It is about you know when you pull a show together, and I'm so proud of it. It's a family. You mm -hmm. can build. You can start like that. How you want to finish. And we wanted to start in love, and I was supported that way. Walked onto that set, and I knew that I had to carry. I had to lead i had to let everybody know i got them mm -hmm. and they let they know they let me know they had me and so we did it together and i'm so proud of it no turning back now i didn't got the lick oh, it's on snap. It's oh on. snap she's got she's got the bug guys yeah she's doing an amazing job <laughs> yes. at it too by the way and you were speaking about trust and you know it's it's you know when trust shows up when you're in a place when you're vulnerable and you don't know what you're going to do. Mm -hmm. And so we in episode 10, and I'm having a moment where it's just not clicking in my mind, and she comes in there and lays her head on my head and said, I got you. You know, I'm going to get you through this. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's when that trust is like, okay, that's that's love. And then that shows me and, and Tamara in that moment, yes, you are an incredible director because that's what a director would do. Wow. They will come in and they will be there for you because they has other things are going on, but let, let's just bring it, it's just us. Let me just, I got mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. We got that, we got that monologue, we got that. And I need this over here. Right. You know, and I was like, okay, okay. So I'm you don't right. see that all the time in Hollywood? I, well, I don't know, mm -hmm. but I know in that moment, yeah. that's what I needed and it was there. Oh, mm -hmm. oh look at that, look at that. I'm yeah. getting all the chills, I'm getting chills. Yeah. <laughs> like for real. All right, so I got a couple more questions because I, I know you guys have to go. Um, somebody wants to know, <laughs> they uh -oh. want to know plot wise stuff. Are you all still friends with the Ruby character? Or did the Ruby character have to leave or will that spoil further episodes? Yes, there's peace. There's peace. There is, but there's beautiful peace. And actually, there was a, um, and again, the Ruby character is sort of a mashup of a few women in Salim's life that he wanted to win with. Mm -hmm. He wanted to get to, we all want to get to the end. Nobody starts yeah. into something and, and wanted to go of badly, course, of you course. know, but sometimes it, we don't make it for whatever reasons we don't, but he wanted to, and he didn't. I really, I, and so it's the Ruby, the Ruby, that's a, a you know, mashup. Mm -hmm. There's peace in all of those relationships and healing in it. And I'm so thankful for that. And so happy to be a witness to see that. And, and, um, yeah, I'll, I'll leave it there. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you can give us some exclusives yeah, 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 if yeah, you yeah. want to behind the scenes. And no, they're thriving in their lives yeah. too. They're thriving. They're happy. Um, it, it's funny. I random. It's funny you would ask me this just the other day, and it's on my text with Salim. I said I saw Ruby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I saw Ruby, and she was laughing and smiling, walking down the street with a fine black man. I was like, so. I think things are good. Think she's <laughs> all right. She's going to be all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so how has life changed for you guys in the short time span that we've had the episodes and everything? Because I know everybody's buzzing about it. And even from my girlfriends that are my age, which are like, you know, whatever. And then the millennials are also talking about it as well. So talk to us about the changes. Don't get shy. <laughs> no, well, I'm, I'm disappointed. I had, I had spoken, so I was just waiting to hear your opinion. Oh, okay, yeah. Um... <laughs> It hasn't been as much of uh, 
to be honest, I've only had three encounters where people have stopped me. <laughs> but, that, but that's okay because they're right. talking about you online but, everywhere. Right, and I, and it might be just, you know, I haven't really been out that much. Like, <laughs> I'm trying to get my like life, you know, moving and all this stuff. I mean, I think Will gets stopped more because, you know, Black Lightning is in its, like, real prime, too. So, mm -hmm. um, But it was interesting. I made it the other day. I was like, let me just get out. I was in my apartment gym, and I was like, you know what? Let me just go out and get some actual fresh air. So I, I made it a block. Before someone drove by rolling down their window yelling at me and I was like what you know you just hear their mouths move because you got your headphones right, on right. I was like should I talk to these people <laughs> I was like no what like we love your show but it was beautiful because they said it was actually a married couple with um, their child in the back and um, they were like and the guy you know he looked like he was so cool. He was like that brother, like with the long beard, with, you know, his hair. Like, he just looked like that cool brother. You know what I mean? <laughs> and he was like, Yeah, this is helping us with our marriage oh. and our family. And like to hear him say that was just, I was like, Oh my God. I was like, Why did you not A, wear a hat? Because you got bed heads still. Because <laughs> you got short hair and no makeup. I was like, Fine, I'll do it. I was like, <laughs> But it was good. It was beautiful. Good. So it's, it's nice to have such good feedback about. A, to be a part of a story like that, you know. Now, I read somewhere that you had to cut your hair. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, it's funny. That, yes, it was in the script. Uh, it, was it was in the script. After we booked her, everybody was excited. We're just jumping up and down. We got Michelle. And then I was celebrating myself. And then maybe an hour later, I was like, oh, did we, we had the conversation about, y'all had the conversation about her cutting her hair, right? And they were like, <laughs> Well, it's in the script. I was like, you're right. It's in the script. I said, well, you know what? It doesn't sound like it was handled the way I wanted it to be handled, so I will call Michelle, and we will have a conversation. <laughs> so I picked up the phone, and I was like, Michelle? And I, I could imagine being, I did imagine if I were her on the other end. Mm -hmm. So I skipped that part and just said, <laughs> 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 so I'm going to get an amazing person to cut your hair. In fact, I'm thinking about the, the gentleman who cut my hair, Nico is it. He cut my hair 20 some odd years ago. He's also known for the Halle Berry cut. He's he's known, he he's he's major. He's and I said, "Well, I'm going to I'm going to treat I want this special. I this is your hair. I want you to have the best. So I'm I only go for the best. You're the best. Let's go get him. So why don't you just send me some images in which you're comfortable with?" <laughs> <laughs> Did I didn't even ask her, "Are you okay with it?" I was just like it's in the script. Right. This is what we're going to do. Yeah. And, and how are you processing this, Michelle? So I'm on the phone. So yeah, I'm yeah. like, oh, my God, Laura's calling me. This is great. Like, I'm, like, so excited. And she goes, what did she say? She's like, yeah, so I wanted to talk to you about the haircut. And I'm like, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. And then it's flashing all the words, Halle Berry, cut, cut, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, okay. And she's and she's like, yeah, so we want to get a cut. Da, 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 don't. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> Um, I've never had yes. my hair that short before. <laughs> she's like, I can't. She said, she's like, look, I can't have you in a wig. <laughs> oh, I did. She's Why like, look, I can't have you in a wig. It. And I was like, you know what? That's true, though. Short wigs, you can't do that for four months. Like, it just, it's just going to move that, around. I was it's like, just, it's courtship time. Y'all going to be making yeah. love and kissing and touching. Yeah. I can't. That's not going to be it's, real if he can't put his hands in your hair. Oh and right. You feel comfortable as an actress. You know what I'm saying? That he, no, it's so if real. If she's not really? comfortable on screen, we're not selling and, and getting the reaction that we're having. So it needs to be real. And also, Authentic. it was in the script. Well, see, the thing is, is I read the script. Because the script, the, if you watch the pilot, it jumps between long hair and whatever. And there were specific notes in the audition, wear your long, curly hair down. You know, so I'm oh, like, yeah. oh, I got to have long, curly hair <laughs> to look like her. She got her long, curly hair. So then I'm like, oh, they're probably, and I would, I literally told my friends, yeah, you guys, I got this show. They're going to put me in a crop, um, short haircut wig, too. It's going to be so great. I'm going to have long hair and short hair, like different looks. It's going to be the 90s. So I'm telling, but when she started talking to me about it, that's what I heard. I heard. You read the script, girl. <laughs> in my head. And I was like, oh, my God. And then also, I had just been needing a change anyways and been praying for new beginnings. And so I also heard that. Well, you oh, prayed new for new beginnings. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm like, so I'm like hearing all this, like, petrified, like, oh, my God. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But oh, that it was, was good. A, that was a funny. And I hung up. I was like, oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, God. <laughs> but I did show. We we actually had a really nice time. I showed up to the um, to the consult and, and to the haircut. Did you that, hold her hand? Yes, really. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I know I was asking. And I, I, I was I, earlier I was saying, I know I put a lot on them. And, you know, technically they're prepared, but their resume is not long mm -hmm. for the amount of 
the type of work they are doing, that body of work that they're doing on this one season of this show, some people don't do in a lifetime as an actor. Mm. And I know, and they, and I knew they were ready. And, and, and so it's like, it was just, but let's all jump into the deep end together, including this hair. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll oh, have, you had to have the changes? Had to, yeah, he had to take that beard My off. The beard was gone. Really? Yeah. Lala, he complained about it. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. I didn't even think about it because mm -hmm. it just, I see it growing in now. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. Okay. It looks good either way. So now, are you becoming like this man that all the ladies are running up to? Because you know I know my, my get... friends are like, girl. <laughs> you know, I'm getting my edges elbow. You know? Come on now. <laughs> you know, a little Marvin Gaye swag. You know? <laughs> no, it's, it's, been, it's been interesting. Um, I was getting stopped before, but not at this level. Excuse you know? me. I was getting stopped before. No, I, you know, <laughs> well, one of the, the, uh, one of the uh, interviews I had, they asked me, well, how do you feel about the billboards? And I said, well, I've been dope. <laughs> you know, on, so, brother. you know. Come on, I it, love you know, it. It just, just matter time before it was up there, but it was a good thing I've to see. I've been dope. Yeah, you, you know. know. it's funny, when I hear him, I feel like, is a Sleeve in the room? <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. The essence of Will is the essence of Celine. Like there's, mm -hmm. it's so, it's so close. Anyway, I'm laughing. <laughs> nah, that's that's true. That's Do you true. think that um, he recognized that in you? Like when you said he gave you the hug, you're gonna work with my wife, whatever, whatever. That he recognized himself in you. Yeah, I think we recognize it in each other. Yeah, you know. And the more um, I'm around Mara, the more I can see her husband even more. Mm -hmm. That was my whole goal. If I can get 80 percent of of Celine's essence then I know that he will be okay because he's not around because he's doing his thing. Right. Is that I want them to watch and be like, okay, if it's just one scene or one moment, that was me. Mm -hmm. Then I'm like, okay, I did my job. Love it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so Mara, you've worked with several, several different networks and everything. Now you're here at OWN with Auntie O. Tell us about the experience and the journey from there because... We were all a little heartbroken after you left with the Being Mary Jane yeah. stuff. And we were like, what? Too. wait a minute, we felt lost. Yeah, we were I, lost. it's funny. I've had a few sort of network breakups. <laughs> it's, just, it's, yes. it's, it's interesting. Um, when I, this project actually was slightly different at a different network. And when I turned that project in, the, um, I said a prayer. And I said, of course, God, I would love it to be here and thriving and all the things that you wish it to be. But really, my prayer is, prayer is for it to find the right home, the right mm -hmm. fit. And the next call came. It was Oprah would like to hear the pitch. First of all, let's pause there. Right. <laughs> 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 let's pause there. And when, when she tells the story, it was for her. She's always wanted to work with us. So it was kind of sold her mind. But if she wanted to come pitch it, let her maybe come pitch it. But of course I wanted to pitch it because she deserves the best right. of what it is. And I wanted her to know what, what it was. And it was so beautiful because she goes, I want it to be. And so I changed it back to what I really want it to be. And that also in that iteration, I really want it to be an hour long. I thought that romantic, uh, it's a romantic drama that was going to have comedy in it, but we needed space. We needed mm -hmm. time. Something I was developing in Being Mary Jane, Being Mary Jane, sort of quiet moments. That's where her humanity is. And I wanted to still paint more of our images with that, with that stroke of humanity. And I needed time. I needed space. And I needed support. And Oprah literally opened her arms to me, to this project, wanting nothing but the best, working with her. She gave me three notes, three meaningful notes. When she she doesn't need to like over note it or over, but but they were thoughtful and they were things that only elevated the project. Um, working with her her network, it is class. She, they treat us with class. Mm -hmm. We're treated with value. We're treated with respect. So in that exchange, we give us. We we're giving our all. They're giving us our all. And more importantly, I want to say about Oprah, she doesn't have to create a network. It's one of the, it's a hard, that's that's not fun all the time. Like I can't imagine. Real. Yeah. But be, but this is what speaks to her. She's a queen. This is the queen. She knew that it was still important to create space for our stories. Yes. And it was interesting where I thought this project was going to be made with the first black woman running a network. God reminds me that I dream sometimes too small that I've created a project that I'm for a woman, a black woman who owns a network. Mm. Yes. And mm. I am so thankful. Um, I think I've told her so she knows now, but she's mentoring me just by me being in her presence. 
Um, and I'm just thankful for her to provide space and a home for us to do our best work. And that's what that's what people are seeing. Tuesday nights at 10 on OWN <laughs> or the OWN app. <laughs> you better sell it, girl. We love it. We love your humility, too. Because you, again, have been in the game for, uh, no pun intended, <laughs> yeah, um, I like that, for, for, for years. But you know, and nothing's still promised. Just, nothing's promised. That and is if true. We, and, if we, and if we, just like our relationship, my, my husband and I, we're married and we have rings, but we still have to show up and let each other know that we desire you. We can't take each other for granted. We can't take this life for granted. We, we got to live. And I also don't take for granted that someone's going to say yes to the TV shows that I want to create. So mm -hmm. I am humble. I am mm -hmm. also always humbled by God's blessings. And I'm so glad it has also brought me um, to work and be next to Oprah. I'm excited and thrilled. It's a, it's my, it's a, you know, it's a reward for the hard work, I think. Um, and I'm going to take this one. <laughs> you do it, girl. All right. Lastly, before you go, girlfriends, okay. movie. Yep. Update yes. something. Deja, let's put it out in the world. I'm looking for um, the value of, let me say this. There was a time in which I would have made the, the ending to the story for whatever money they would have given me. Mm -hmm. um, but now with time and distance, you know, what I've learned is, no, it needs to be at the value that it's worth. Yes. The story to end right, I, I know what the story would is. I, I know what the story is. I can write the script. But you know what? I want to just go through the normal process of Hollywood. And that is a great product deserves, um, needs funding. And right now the funding is probably around $50 million. I can make a global hit and answer and end the story beautifully for girlfriends. And I think it's time for... Um, uh, uh, and that's what we, we don't need to, I don't want to beg and borrow and steal to tell that story. Mm. It's time to say, no, this is what it's worth. And let's, let's, let's do it right. Let's do it. Let's do it right. No begging, borrowing, and stealing. This is the value of it. See the value in it. And let's go make a lot of money and tell a great story. Yes. Cause we're waiting. It's been like 10 years. Yeah. So I'm, I'm looking result. for the, I'm looking for the investors who have that kind of money and want to tell that story. Otherwise, cause if I stay stuck there, I wouldn't be here talking to you about Love Is. Right. Mm -hmm. All right, so Future for Love Is. We know we have the episodes and everything, but I, are you already working on season two? Oh, I always, um, my brain can't stop. It can't, it won't stop. So yeah. I know where I want to go for okay. um, for season two, yes. And so we're just waiting on the pickup um, so we can get going. That's nothing but a technicality. Girl. Yeah. You know that's about to happen. Come on, right? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Well, I would love to get back to work. But the season one is about courtship, and I'm really, ex I'm really excited about how it's launched so far and the reaction and the conversation we've had around it. And um, But I can say that people just literally, if you don't have your seatbelt on, you should put it on, put it on. Uh, uh, because love is a ride. <laughs> <laughs> That's what and it you is. you got to be willing to take it. <laughs> all right, I'm Michelle excited. Weaver, Will Catlin, Mara Brock Akil, thank you all so much for stopping by. You don't understand how gassed we all are in here. Oh. Like, for real. Sapphire, are you over there? You got a question? Marie? Uh, like, how real is it with, you know, compared to your love story? Oh, there is a lot. The essence of who Nori is and Yasir is is very close to the essence of Mar and Celine. That is very true. I always say that there's the there's the truth about someone and the facts about someone. Mm. And so the truth is very close. The facts I am manipulating, even some of the real life, um, the real true of the tentpole moments in our life. Like I did propose to him. Um, he did say, "Let's cut the." the BS mm -hmm. and get on about this life together the night that we met. Um, I did sneak out of work. Just told my boss maybe seven years ago. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, I did, um, you know, there was a concert. It was literally the Wynton Marcellus concert. So there's some real facts and some of it though starts to get manipulated as I go on so that I have the the freedom as a storyteller to get back to the truth of who we are, the essence of Nuri and Yasir. And I really want, at some point, it's important too that we detach from Mara and Celine and lean more into Yasir and Nuri. Yes. For, because I really want them to be the ambassadors and, uh, and a symbol for the idea of defining and designing your own love story. Love and it. so, um, but yeah, I, I, I take all the fun moments, like, and also the, some of the fun details um, um, of who we are. And like, Salim literally still cooks. He's the cook of the family. Things like that. I'm the, I wash dishes. He cooks. I clean. Those things are. Um, those little details are there as well. Um, I had the house. He was broke. All those. <laughs> those <laughs> things are, you know. But he was also this man of character and um, passion and loyalty and um, and. Uh, 
so many more things and and that's that is true and i was i am a i am an ambitious person i am you know um i am effervescent and bubbly and all that stuff but i'm a killer inside those are the, what? those are so, you know, but no i mean that's part of I have to own that. Even I saying it, it on this, even saying that, I'm like, who said that? Who said that? <laughs> you know, Mara the Mask. I'm supposed to say stuff like that, but inside, I'm a beast. You know, like, what? But, she but, is. But and Salim tries to tell people all the time. Mm -hmm. But um, <laughs> that's my man, I, I, I've seen it. <laughs> you don't leave that. That's a whole other thing. Oh, yeah, but snap. it's good. It's it's it's, 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 it's with needed. Love. It's with love. Yeah. yeah. It's with love. And you got to have it when you are when you're a visionary. Yes, yeah. you do. I do want to say one thing too. Part of my courtship and love with Selim is music. We are even our wedding favor is a music CD, and it and it's also a language I've used in many of my shows. So yes, I really love Jane, the course. music. But it has been really. It is hand selected. It mm -hmm. is. It's funny in the um, editing process. It's been some of the longest hours. Is finding the right song. There was a. Yes, I haven't been known to test 20 songs against the scene. You know what I'm saying? To find the right one. And also, we wanted to be very true to the time period. Yes. I've only cheated a little bit, um, but it, everything had to be at least 97 or, you know, um, uh, or or before. Um, and, and, and also, if you notice, like, I want to be um, I want to be with you. Bootsy Collins, that was important because Yasir doesn't, did, Salim does not like the 90s music. I love it. Salim does not. And he would tell anybody, okay, that's great for you. I don't like it. <laughs> and, which is another reason I love him so much. And so you'll notice that Yasir's music choices are from that place. There's some things that he does love, and you'll see that, that those even, those moments were even balanced about what perspective were we're saying. Like, um, and even like using the Brownstone song that everybody's loving, that was from a Ruby perspective. And, and then it, so yeah, anyway, I can go on and on about the music. I'm I'm such a nerd about it, but I love it. I mean, um, I'm really excited about revisiting some of the music that I love and fell in love with, and 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 reminiscing with the audience. And I'll be in editing, just jamming like. <laughs> <laughs> You sure you don't want to play DJ? I know. I, I mean, love, like, I'm pretty good on thing. the music. <laughs> oh my God. And then Kira Lehman, who's our music supervisor, he's got my back. But you know, one of the music things I'm really excited about, Akira Kusumura, who is the music um, composer, we have a love story in the spirit of um, when I, in my writing process, I, I have to portal the music. And when I have, when I can't find the right piece of music, give for instance, Be Mary Jane, I played Alanis Morissette acoustic version of What's the Matter, Mary Jane on a loop for like eight, 10 hours and oh. writing the pilot. But I couldn't find that one song. So I go to Johan Johansson and just, it's like a, it's just like a bass. And so I was on Spotify and it, it ran out of music. And so this other music was coming up and then I, my ear perked up. I'm thinking, who is this? And it was Akira Kusumura, and I look him up on Instagram. He's from Japan. I'm like, what is going on? We make a connection um, through Instagram and just sort of liking each other's pictures. And wow. now he is the composer. And I literally just fell in love with his music, and I started writing the, the shows to Akira. And so now him being the composer on it. We have never talked on the phone. We have, we, you know, my, I don't speak Japanese. He doesn't speak great English. And we mm -hmm. translate over Instagram and over social media. And, but he is, his, I'm very um, proud of that selection. I love that our images against the space and sensitivity in his music um, was so important to me. And I was so happy that it worked because I also wanted to use 90s music and the juxtaposition of his music, mm -hmm. that sound and the 90s sound, I wasn't sure it was going to work, but it, it all came together, and I'm really sort of like, anyway, shout wow. out to Akira. That's <laughs> dope. The power of social media. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Love has no borders. Love, there you go. Love Come does on. it. I love it. Y'all just dropping all kinds of gems. All right, but we got to mm. wrap up, guys. But we want to thank you all so much, and everybody can tune in Tuesdays at 10. Tuesdays at 10. On OWN oh, no. for Love Is. Thank you all. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.